हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द लिम्बा क्लासेज एंड टूडे वी आर प्रजेंटिंग द नेक्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ तमिलनाडु बोर्ड हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न लेसन टू एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज प्री हिस्टोरिक इंडिया एंड द हरप्पन कल्चर बेसिकली यू नो लाइक वी पीपल कंसिडर हरप्पन कल्चर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ प्री हिस्टोरिक इंडिया बट दैट इज फैक्चुअली रॉन्ग बिकॉज यू नो दीज टू आर अ डिस्टिंग थिंग एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट दीज टू कल्चर्स सो वट बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे इज फर्स्ट इज द प्री हिस्टोरिक पीरियड सेकेंड इज ओरिजिन एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन एंड थर्ड इज सोशो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन ऑफ हरप्पन पीपल द नेक्स्ट इज कल्चरल लाइफ ऑफ द हरप्पन एंड द लास्ट इज द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन सो लाइक विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच ऑफ अ टाइम लेट्स गो टू द चैप्टर एंड द चैप्टर इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट्स इन इंडिया गोज बैक टू प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम सो लाइक बेसिकली वॉट इज प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स uh we always have heard about the term like historic historical things history now what is this prehistoric times so be, uh, like it is nothing new term prehistoric means prehistoric is the period when the man had not developed writing spoken languages in one or other form always existed but the art of writing no came into existence much later so there was no definite script which people you know used to like record things or write things so it was not available at that time and that phase of the human development is known as a prehistoric times so it is written here that no written records are available for the prehistoric period obviously when the writing was not developed how can you find a written like written records of those era right so however the plenty of archaeological remains are found in different parts of india to reconstruct the history of this period they include stone tools pottery artifacts and metal implements used by prehistoric people so if writing was not available we are not you know like we didn't have the written records what these people do what these people eat or how they lived their life what we have the things you know left by these peoples which we found today in excavations and then we can reconstruct the history that how we can get an idea you know of how these people used to live and what they used to do in their free times what is the art present over that time and different kind of things we can reconstruct so the development of archaeology helps much to understand the life and culture of the people who lived in this period you know the material most widely used by prehistoric man was the stone because you know it, it is easily available and that that is why also no prehistoric age is also known as a stone age as writing did not exist no written or literary evidence of the periods are available so a long part of man's story belongs to the period of prehistory which we commonly known as a no stone age so in india the prehistoric period is divided into three sub parts for the you know more understanding and more clarity on the topic the first one is paleolithic the term lithic no lithic the meaning of the term lithic is stone and paleo means old so paleolithic is old stone age mesolithic is middle stone age and neolithic is new stone stone age you know in neolithic age the man discovered agriculture and in this phase of like the neolithic age he started to settle in all you know small settlements where he started agriculture and started taming the animals also so a settlement form of a human life begins from the neolithic period and it is followed by the metal age when the discovery of you know copper and iron later on iron was discovered however these periods were not uniform throughout the indian subcontinent obviously it may and uh, my i mean the explanation of this line is for example if we talking about the north india so if it is a paleolithic age in north india it's not mandatory that in south india also people were living uh, that kind of life in paleolithic peoples were basically you know hunter gatherer so the you know the chronology varies from one place to another the dating of the prehistoric period is then scientifically obviously you know because that era is past and when we get 
you know new evidences at excavations when we get new sites and we get new things we used to you know we use a technique which is known as a radiocarbon dating and basically what we do in that is we test like the uh, loss of amount of carbon in the organic materials over a period of time and then we conclude how old that artifact is so this is a work of a archaeologist and hence we create you know the history of the past era another dating method is known as a dentro chronology and you know in this like the age or we can you know tell the era is defined by the circles found on the tree system so by counting the number of circles it can be defined the age of that thing also so in this like the next city it's a map of the prehistory india so you know what's common and let me just fix this map to the screen size and here some of the sites are named the first is starting from the north the first is ruber it's somewhere in today's punjab the next size, uh, site is kalibangan it's in like today's rajasthan then we have the mohan chodaro we all it, it is very famous it is also the harappan civilization so before also like you know prior to harappan civilization mohan chodaro was also inhabited in prehistory the next coming more south is lothal it is also a harappan like uh, indus valley civilization if we talk more specifically it was a you know dockyard so like before in this valley civilization lothal was also occupied as a prehistory site coming more south it's sisu pal gar which opens in a you know, bay of bengal it is also a port the next you know you can just read these sites so these are all the prehistory uh, indian sites moving on to the next piece so here it is mentioned the term of dentro chronology how, how we just detect the time error for by counting the number of rings of the wood so now we come back to the paleolithic or old stone age so the old stone age sites are widely found in various parts of the indian subcontinent these sites are generally located near water sources obviously you know like the when the civilization has started people which is the most preferable site for a human to settle obviously near water because you know water is a basic necessity and all of the works starts with the water for like if name a few it's like drinking washing cooking and also agriculture so basically sites are near the water bodies basically rivers and indus valley civilization also got its name from the indus river right and after indus valley civilization the civilization shifted to the east india along the river ganga and yamuna we are very much aware of that and we will also read it you know in the next chapters the vedic era so the next line is these sites are generally located near water sources several rock shelters and caves used by the paleolithic people are scattered across the subcontinent so the you know the people of old stone age or we called stone age they used to live in rock shelters in caves we have read about it earlier also because there was not the awareness of how to make a brick how to make a cement so these people were living in a rock shelters they also lived rarely in the huts made of leaves some of the famous sites of old stone age in india are here it's mentioned the son valley and the potwar plateau on the north west of india the shivalik hills shivalik you know the inner himalayas the lower himalayas on the north india then bhim betka in madhya pradesh we got many you know excavations of the prehistory and also the you know prehistory like caves are also present and the prehistoric paintings are also present in bhim betka the next is adamgarh hills in narmada valley that is also close to the madhya pradesh the narmada valley adamgarh hills and next is kurnool in andhra pradesh and the last is ati rampakam near chennai tamil nadu so in old stone age food was obtained by hunting animals and gathering edible plants and tubers tubers basically are things which you know grow under the ground like uh, carrot radish potatoes so these are called tubers 
therefore these peoples are called as hunter gatherers because you know the agriculture was not invented as i already told you agriculture started in near yes right neolithic so when we are talking about the paleolithic era the agriculture didn't initiated as so the people of these eras are known as hunter gatherers they used stone tools hand sized and flaked off large pebbles for hunting animals stone implements are made of a hard rock known as quartzite large pebbles are often used in the river terraces the hunting of large animals would have required the combined efforts of a group of a people with large stone axes we have little knowledge about their language and communication obviously because the written script has not been found and the people were not aware of writing so there are no written records and these people live in you know a group because they were very much afraid of the tides of the vol volcanoes eruptions of the earthquakes they are not aware about these natural calamities so these people live in a group and they used to hunt animals together and that is how they spend their lives their li uh, way of life became modified with the passage of time since they made attempts to domesticate animals made crude pots and grow some plants right with the passage of time the discovery initiated you know like the discovery of fire the discovery of wheel the discovery of agriculture so in a uh, you know time these time frames the development initiated and hence the life improved the people got aware about the you know natural calamities also they there was an improvement in the standard of life also so a few old stone age paintings have also been found on the rocks as i was telling you on the rocks of bhim betkar and other places the period before 10000 bc is assigned to the old stone age so this uh, i think you should just mark this you know the time period because it's very whenever you are writing your answers or in also like when you are solving mcqs these dates are sometimes become very crucial in framing your answers so you better you know just make a short notes which you can quickly revise before your exam so next is mesolithic or middle stone age the next stage of human life is known as a mesolithic or middle stone age which falls roughly from 10000 bc to 6000 bc so like uh, on 10000 bc the there was a end of paleolithic which is old stone age and what begins is middle stone age it was transitional phase between the paleolithic and the neolithic age of course you know most of the discoveries and development happened in neolithic but we all are aware that you know no change can happen overnight we the change is is a slow process and it takes time so we refer mesolithic as a transitional phase transitional phase means when there is some discovery and there is a change so the time period which that change takes to happen is known as a transitional phase so mesolithic is a transitional phase mesolithic remains are found now where the these remains are found they are found in lang langhaj in gujarat okay so it's langhaj in gujarat आदमगढ़ इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड आई थिंक यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑल्सो यू नो बिफोर इन द प्रीवियस लाइट वी ऑल्सो रेफर्ड आदमगढ़ इन मध्य प्रदेश एज अ पेलियोलैथिक साइट राइट सो ऑफ ऑब्वियसली द साइट विच आर इनहेबिटेड दे आर नॉट अबेंडेंड यू नो जो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी ऑल्सो हर लाइक लर्न इन मैप द मोहन जुदाड़ो एंड लोथल दे आर ऑल्सो हरअपन सिविलाइजेशन एंड पीपल आर ऑल्सो लिविंग बिफोर द हरअपन सिविलाइजेशन सो दीज साइड्स आर नॉट अबेंडेड बिकॉज द वाटर बॉडीज ऑब्वियसली आर नियर टू दीज साइड्स सो इट इज़ अ वेरी हैबिटेबल प्लेस टू सेटल एंड ऑल्सो इन सम प्लेसेज ऑफ राजस्थान उत्तर प्रदेश एंड बिहार वी फाउंड द साइट्स ऑफ मेजोलैथिक टाइम द पेंटिंग्स एंड इनग्रेविंग्स फाउंड एट द रॉक शेल्टर्स गिव एन आइडिया अबाउट द सोशल लाइफ एंड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज ऑफ मेजोलैथिक पीपल सो लाइक यू मस्ट बी क्रूशियल लाइक यू नो ऑल्सो लाइक क्यूरियस सॉरी क्रू आई सेट क्रू सो इट्स लाइक वी ऑल आर वेरी क्यूरियस हाउ इन दीज life of the past era are reconstructed so we get little you know little facts and little 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 information in forms of a painting in forms of the instrument left behind in forms of uh, the you know animal bones in form of 
cloth piece finding of a cloth piece is very rare so these are the things which initiate us which gives us idea how the people lived their lives in the past eras so painting is also a very crucial part of you know framing that era these are tiny stone artifacts often not more than 5 cm in size and therefore are called microliths so in mesolithic era the tools also changed from you know earlier people were using large axes large stones now the size of the tools decreased and okay so these are now called microliths lith means i told in like the since is starting of this chapter lith is meaning the stone so microlith small stones the hunting gathering mat, uh, like pattern of life continued during this period also however there seems to have been shift from big animal hunting to small animal hunting and fishing also the use of bow and arrow also began during this period so this like fact is also crucial for you you can just pen it down the use of bow and arrow also began during this period in which period mesolithic right also there began a tendency to settle settle for long period in an area therefore domestication of animals horticulture primitive cultivation started so when people settle obviously if they are not moving from one place to another and they are settling in some area so they you know started taming the animals for their meat or if it, they are tam taming the you know uh, goats and sheep so they are taming them for the milk also so the domestication started and primitive cultivation started animal bones are found in these sites and these includes a dog deer boar ostrich so it indicates that these animals and birds are being tamed by the primitive peoples occasionally burials of a dead along with some microliths or and uh, shells seem to have been practiced so these this is also a indication like you know in burial sites along with the dead body or remains we found some microliths means a stone so the people must be believing you know the after life like there is a, another life after the death so these practiced seem to have the facts related to this the next is neolithic age now coming to the neolithic age a remarkable progress noticed in human civilization in the neolithic age so in terms of a civilization progress neolithic era or neolithic age is very important because most of the discoveries happened in this era it is approximately dated from 6000 bc to 4000 bc can you just uh, pin it down what is the time frame from uh, time frame for paleolithic 10000 up to 10000 bc and for mesolithic it's 10 to right and now it's neolithic it's from 6 to 4000 bc remains are found in various parts of the india these includes kashmir valley chirand in bihar belan valley in uttar pradesh and in several places of the deccan you must be like you people should note down these sites also and you can also mark them on the map and the more you practice the more you get you know acquainted with this information and it will be very easy for you to recall and it also helps in you know framing the answer and it looks very nice and it will also fetch you good number of marks uh like okay the important neolithic sites excavated in south india are maski it's in karnataka brahmagiri halur and kodekal in karnataka payampalli in tamil nadu utnur in andhra pradesh the chief characteristic features of the neolithic culture are the practice of agriculture so agriculture started in which is it's neolithic domestication of animals also polishing of stone tools so we have heard that you know in paleolithic the primitive people were using large axes and large stones in mesolithic they were micro microliths you know the size of the stone decreased and now in neolithic the people also polished the tools you know they sharpened the tools and the manufacture of pottery also so when you know the agriculture started there we need some utensils no vessels to store the harvest so manufacture of pottery also happened in neolithic so in terms of you know civilization neolithic is really very important 
in fact the cultivation of plants and domestication of animals led to the emergence of village communities based on sedentary life so what happened when people settled down along the along yes water bodies like rivers streams lakes so when people settled they started agriculture so it took a form of a village so basically from you know from hunter gathering people became a set like they started living a settled life in form of a village there was a great improvement in technology of making tools as i told you from large stones to polished tools now and other equipment used by man stone tools were now polished the polished axes were found to be more effective tool for hunting and cutting trees also you know because like when the agriculture started we knew need there was a need to cut the you know dense forest to cut the bushes for a clear ground to cultivate so of course polished tools helped them mud brick houses were built instead of grass huts so earlier we read that the people were living in caves and in the huts of leaves now mud brick houses were built so it is a great invention wheels were used to make pottery you know you uh, you must have seen that round pottery wheel pottery was used for cooking as well as storage of food grains earlier when there was no agriculture there was no need to store food there was no need to cook the food so now the pottery invention by the invention of agriculture and hence there was a need to store the food and hence the invention of pottery so like this they started a living a settled life large urns were used as coffins for the burial of dead there was also improvement in agriculture wheat barley rice rice sorry rice millet were cultivated in different areas at different points of time rice cultivation was extensive in eastern india domestication of sheep goats cattle was widely prevalent cattle were used for cultivation and for transport the people of neolithic age used clothes made of cotton and wool so i think you can also compare you know the discoveries or and the standard of living from paleolithic to mesolithic to neolithic there is a drastic change now people are wearing clothes of made of cotton and wool they are taming animals for cultivation also for transport also they are you know they are growing crops like wheat barley rice millet earlier they were just hunting and you know gathering fruits and leaves so there is a drastic change in the standard of life also and after the stone age we come here to the metal age the neolithic period is followed by charcoal lithic Char- lithic is the main word i already told you lithic means stone and charcoal means copper so the stone age is followed by copper age which is also known as charcoal lithic uh, it's a period when copper and bronze came to be used the new technology of smelting metal ore and crafting metal artifacts is an important development in human civilization but the use of stone tools was not given up obviously when there is a new discovery it's not like that it's uh, suddenly we give up on a old technology and we adopt a new one it's not like right because there is a change in, and the change takes time so the people were also using a stone and now they were aware of the use of metal also and the first metal discovered can you just mention in comment box the first metal discovered by human so uh, the next thing is some of the micro lathe tool continued to be essential items obviously like you know tools were used for agriculture purpose also people began to travel for long distances to obtain metal ores when they got the information and when they discovered the metal they you know they traveled long distances to get more acquainted with it this led to a network of charcoal lithic cultures and the charcoal lithic cultures were found many parts of india obviously when people traveled from one place to another there were more sites there were more development there was more communication and there was more transportation so we get to you know we are we are having in many sites in india that are linked to the charcoal lithic cultures generally charcoal lithic cultures had grown in river valleys obviously the like the most of the previous cultures also and the upcoming culture you will learn in the next chapters they are basically all are developed along the river sites 
most importantly the harappan culture is considered as a part of charcoalithic culture so this is also an important fact for you you can just pen it down that harappan culture is considered as a part of charcoalithic culture in south india the river valley of godavari krishna tungabhadra penar and kaveri were settled by farming communities during this period Although they were not using metals in the beginning of metal age there is a evidence of copper and bronze artifacts by the end of the second millennium BC So as i told you the chronology differs from place to place and site to site it is not you know synchronous that in like in north india it's paleolithic then in middle or south india it's also paleolithic so it is defined over here several bronze and copper objects beads terracotta figurines and pottery were found in payampalli in tamil nadu so this is also a site payampalli in tamil nadu and it is related to yes charcoalithic culture and harappan culture is also known as a part of a charcoalithic exactly the charcoalithic age is followed by iron uh, iron age okay iron is frequently referred to in the vedas we will you know learn about the vedic age in the next chapter it is also a very interesting chapter the iron age of the southern peninsula is often related to megalithic burials now you can you know just when you know the meaning of the term you can divide it and you can understand it mega means mega means large and lithic means stone so megalithic large stone and burials we all know where we cremate the dead right so megalithic burials so megalithic burials means large stone the burial pits were covered with these stones such graves are extensively found in south india some of the important megalithic sites are halur and maski in karnataka nagarjun konda in andhra pradesh and adichanallur in tamil nadu black and red pottery and iron artifacts such as hoes and sickles and small weapons were also found in the burial pits so this also you know shows the uh, mentality of the period of that era that they believe in the after life so they used to you know uh, like while they are cremating the body they also put important things for the daily use along with that dead body because they believe in the life that the, the those things will used by that person in his or her after life so these are all about the prehistoric age and we will like cover the harappan civilization in the next video okay so i hope you like the this chapter and i tried my best to explain the things keep watching limba classes for more informative videos thank you so much have a great day bye bye